how to calculate the battery health on any Google Pixel device without having to root it. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate the battery health on any Google Pixel device without having to root it. The first step here is to calibrate your battery. How do you do that? Let the device turn off, as in let it go down to 0% turn off. Then while the device is turned off, charge your device to 100% and keep it charging for two hours more without turning it on, right? Then you can turn on your device, use it regularly, and then let it go back to zero and die again. Once the phone has died because of lack of battery, go ahead and charge it one more time from zero to 100% for another two hours after 100% while the device is turned off and this is going to calibrate your battery. So this here is the Pixel 3 and right now we are running Android 12. However, the process is independent of Android versions. So first of all, you will go into settings and then you will go into about phone. Once you're in about phone, you need to scroll down and then you need to tap on the build number seven times till you get a toast notification that you are now a developer. In case you have any pen or password setup, you might have to enter that. And then we can go back into our settings system. You will see a new option called developer options. Go inside this option and we are going to select bug report, select full report over here and we are going to select report. Now you will feel a vibration and after some time you will get a notification that the bug report report has been created successfully so we are going to wait for that specific notification it might take around two or three minutes so there it is we have a notification that the bug report was created now if you select this one it says tap to share your bug report and we are going to say okay over here and at this point this is a zip file and we need to unzip it so you have an option of emailing this to yourself so that we can unzip on the phone itself without having to access a computer so that is what i'm going to do next so here it is i have emailed the file to myself and next up i'm going to tap on this down arrow on my email to download this zip file to my phone now once you've downloaded the zip file to your phone the next thing you need to do is you're going to the google play store and herein we are going to use an application called fx file explorer which is going to let us unzip this file you are free to use any other file manager application which lets you unzip files so let me go ahead open fx file manager so this here is the main page of fx file explorer we are going to go into main storage and here and we're going to go into the download folder because this is where files are downloaded automatically if you download them on your phone now this here is the file this of course has the code name of my device which is blue line in your case the name might be different so we're going to press and hold on this specific file make sure it is highlighted then three dot menu on the top right we're going to select open with and say archive explorer so these are the contents of this file now we are concerned with only one file which is this one over here around 34 mb and the name is same as that of the zip file so again press and hold on this one and in this case this is a text file make sure it is highlighted and selected then again three dot menu on the top right and this time around we're going to select extract now it is asking us where do you want to extract this documents download but we are going to select main storage now this is the content of our main storage we are going to say extract here and as you can see the process has finished successfully we can go back and now we are in the main storage folder you will notice i have this file over here press and hold make sure it is highlighted and selected three dot menu on the top right and we are going to say rename now in this case everything before dot txt is highlighted press the backspace on the keyboard and give it any name which you feel like in my case i'm saying t dot txt and select ok so now the file has been renamed to t dot txt next up we are going to go back to the google play store and herein we are going to look for an application called terminal emulator so terminal emulator for android this is the one which you are going to install of course the link can 
can be found in the description of this video as well. Now it does need access to your photos, media and files. We are going to say accept over here and once the application has installed, we are going to open it. It will ask for storage access one more time. Make sure the toggle is enabled and say continue on this pop up window. We are going to say OK. Now here we are going to say CD space SD card and then press the enter key. Now we are in the internal storage here and type in ls press the enter key this is the content this is the file which we are looking for t.txt next up we need to search for battery capacity in this file so the command for that is grep space hyphen a n space in double quotes we are going to type in battery capacity with a space between the y and the c so battery capacity in double quotes and then we are going to give the name of the file after a space which in this case is t.txt once you have entered the command press the enter key now you will get a bunch of different results but the one which we are concerned about is estimated battery capacity which in my case is 2244 next up find out the maximum capacity for your battery so we're going to go on to google chrome and here in we are going to search for the specs for the google pixel 3 so pixel 3 specs is what we are going to search for we should get a result from gsm arena we are going to go to this specific website and then we are going to note down the battery which it came with so 2915 mah is the maximum and our estimated capacity is 2244 so the calculation is as easy as going into the calculator 2244 divided by whatever the other number is which is your maximum capacity which in our case is 2915 so go back to the calculator 2915 and it comes out to 76 and you multiply this by 100 so 0 0.7698 into 100 is 76.98 and that my dear friends is the battery health of this google pixel device now on newer pixel devices if your device is brand new you might get your battery capacity as 103 percent or 104 percent nothing wrong in that absolutely fine that is something which is normal for devices which is new and there it is peeps that is how you calculate the battery health on any google pixel device without having to root it and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you